What's up, fruitful investors? In this video, I'm gonna talk about the truth about getting rich quick in real estate. So everybody wants to get rich quick. We have all of these videos on YouTube, all of these success stories on social media, which I'm kind of guilty for because I use social media branding to build my business. However, I think I do it in a quite tasteful way, but there's so many people on there saying how it's so easy to get rich. All you gotta do is this, this, and it's gonna be easy. My opinion, you don't wanna get rich quick, honestly, because that means you're chasing deals, you're playing the short game, you're playing checkers, while everybody else should be playing chess. That's my favorite saying. You wanna play the long game, play chess. Let, let everybody else try and find the Grand Slam deals. They're buying in all different cities, they're chasing deals, they're so busy trying to get rich quick while we're over here getting rich for sure. Maybe a little slower, but we're getting rich for sure, okay? So don't focus solely on cash flow as well. This is another thing in the get rich quick kind of mentality is that cash flow is king, bro. It's all about cash flow. Cash flow is very, very important when we're investing in real estate. Yes, every property must cash flow on day one. I never want you to buy a property that's negative cash flow on day one. We want every property cash flow. However, it doesn't have to cash flow like $1,000 a month on every single deal because if it does, it means you're investing in a sweet area all the time and I wanna know it, but it likely means, very likely in most cases, you're chasing deals. Your realtor from three hours away found this great deal. Your buddy found a deal over there that you have to go see by this weekend. Your buddy found another deal over there and you're just taking words of everybody. You're not building a business. You're not specializing. You're not becoming an expert. You're not playing the long game. You're just playing the short game. You're playing the stock market game. You're playing the average Joe investor game. We don't wanna do that. We wanna be experts. We wanna be sophisticated investors buying in great areas that have economic fundamentals through the roof, job growth, GDP growth, population growth, rental demand. I'm talking about all the boring shit that you probably you don't wanna hear, but that's what it is, man. That's the truth. If you wanna get rich in real life and get successful in real life, that's the stuff you gotta do. That's the homework you gotta do. That's the expertise you need in order to make this thing happen for you. If you're chasing deals, trying to flip deals when you have no business flipping, you're gonna get caught with your pants down and you're gonna lose your shirt maybe and get into real trouble. What you need to realize is that real estate is a long-term game. Okay, so I'm talking 10 to 20 years. If you don't have a game plan for 10 to 20 years, you don't belong on this channel, you don't belong investing in real estate because that means you're probably chasing deals. If you have a two-year game plan, a three-year game plan to get rich and get out, lean fire, bro, eating alpha getty out of a can, you know, hey, I'm retired, I'm 23 years old, but I, I only make like three grand a month, and I'm eating alpha getty out of a can, I don't know, not cool for me, man. Play the long game, 10 to 20 years. You don't, have, you don't have to have an extravagant lifestyle, Grant Cardone, living on the beach and stuff with a mansion. You don't have to have all that. I don't want that either, right? I just want a sweet, comfortable life that I can command and do whatever the hell I want, when I want, and it's certainly not eating off a Getty out of a can. <laughs> Sorry if you like off a Getty. All right, long-term real estate, 10 to 20 years. You need to realize that this is, this is the game. Get ready for this. Once you come to that idea and realize how important this is, you're gonna change the whole way you invest in real estate. You're gonna look at deals differently, you're gonna look at areas differently, your strategy's gonna change, it's gonna be more safe, more guaranteed because you're playing the long game. You need these properties to like last two or three recessions. There might be one here, might be one here, there might be one here before you sell it. So you need to weather two to four recession periods in your game plan. So when you realize that, the, what, what you buy is gonna be very, very different. You won't be buying in rink-a-ding town that has a big Chevy plant that is doing really well in, in a up market, in a boom market. So get in now, the cash flow is good. Yeah, what's gonna happen in three, four years when the next recession comes and that town's gonna lose all of its people, they're gonna move out. What's gonna happen to your property, your real estate? I don't know, I probably wouldn't invest there. I want to invest in areas that have diverse industries, economic fundamentals through the roof. People want to move in. There's job growth all the time in different industries. If, if a recession comes, no big deal, right? In the area that I invest in, which is Kitchener-Waterloo, one hour south of Toronto, that's what my area is. It's super high quality. Yes, real estate does cost more. Yes, I need uh, joint venture partners with big pockets, right? It's hard to find those joint venture <coughs> partners. Sorry, man, my throat is dry. I've been doing so many videos today. So yeah, it's a little harder. But when I do buy those properties, 
It's a fantastic property. It's in a good area. It's gonna last through the ages. That's what I'm looking for. So what you wanna do is build a business based on the three Bs. So here it is. Build the team, number one. Again, this is a very long-term outlook. You wanna build a team, which I'm talking about, right? Your realtor, your mortgage broker, your contractors, your lawyers, et cetera, your accountants. When you have this focus on building your team, again, it's gonna change the way you look at real estate. And it's gonna change your strategy. Get rich quick is not cool, man. I wanna get rich for sure. I wanna get rich guaranteed. And that means building a team, not doing everything on my own, running around, fixing toilets. Yeah, I'm saving 100 bucks a month though. I'm not paying my property manager. That's 100 bucks cash flow, bro. I can buy like five more cans of Alphagetti. I don't know, man. Build a team. The next B. Build a brand. Something I'm really obsessed with, something I would call myself an expert in, is building a brand, using social media, using marketing to build my business, attract my venture partners into my business. That's what I'm really good at. So build a brand. Last and not least, the most important one. And by the way, I talk all about these in other videos for like hours. I could make this video like six hours long. I can make a whole course just on this section right here. But I don't want to have too much of your time. I know you're busy. So check other videos, subscribe to the channel. There's a ton of videos or just get my courses below, which I teach you all of this step by step, especially this section. My course Unlimited Cash teaches you all of this. But for the sake of this video, let's go a little quick. The last and most important one is to build a business. What I mean by that is you're building a strategic business. You're hiring the right people. You're hiring maybe eventually a marketing guy. You're hiring a, an, an account closer or a deal closer or a wholesaler to your team. You're building a business. You need to realize that you're the CEO of your real estate investing business. You should be at the top. You should have people doing things for you to help bring you up and help, help make you more money. You can't do everything on your own. Again, when you have this outlook, it changes the way you look at real estate and what you do with your properties and how you buy them, okay? So build a business, take this long-term, have a long-term outlook. I can't say that enough. I probably said the word long-term like 40 times in this video. It is super important. Stop with the get rich quick. It's not gonna happen in real estate. Yes, there are some cases where people post that they made $500,000 in like 30 days on this sweet flip. They wholesaled the deal for one day's worth of work and made 100 grand. Yes, it does happen. I want that to happen for you as well, but don't build your business around that get rich, or get rich quick because that means you're chasing deals. You're not looking for things, you're not building a system and it will catch up to you. It 100%, you will get caught with your pants down. If you build the business here with the three Bs, build a brand, build a team, you're gonna be reducing your risk so much. Anyway, that's the video. I hope you liked it. If you learned anything, please click like right below. It goes a long way to helping these videos get more views so I can have more people like you invest in real estate and make some real money, not get rich quick, not lose money, not go bankrupt. I want you to get rich for sure. I'll see you in the next video.